Hello, it is in the middle of the day on Wednesday around like almost four o'clock, pretty much 3.50 I'd say. I feel a little tired right now, but I just wanted to come out here to my car to kind of chill for a little bit, talk to you guys. <laughs> I just needed a break from work and I tend to be that type of person who is always at their desk. I don't really get up and walk around. I really want to do that more. So this is kind of me taking a break from my desk. Um, I'm wearing booties today, so I can't really walk around too much. Or if I did, it wouldn't really be comfortable. It's a really nice day today. It's just a little bit colder now. And I don't know if this is possible, but my mom always told me this BS about how you eat I think it, she said something like ginger helps keep your body warm. So I was actually curious to look up whether it's possible to add something to your diet that could keep your body warmer because, you know, I like, I like wearing tanks like this, but the thing is, um, I tend to be very cold in the office if I just have like short sleeves on. So I would like to wear stuff like this more. It's just I always worry that I'm going to be cold. So I tend to try to wear long sleeve stuff more. But I want to have, you know, diversity in what I wear. Maybe it's possible. If not, I don't know. I could just always drink hot beverages to keep me warm. But it is really annoying having to deal with that worry. Well, 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 good afternoon. It is Thursday, lunchtime. Hmm, I made this like two days ago. Still tastes pretty decent. Pretty good day so far. Mm, I rode into work, which is the first, second time I've ridden in. Um, I came back for lunch, rode back, and I think I'm going to avoid riding at night. So the plan is usually to ride in in the morning, come back during lunch, and I'll just drive back. Which kind of sucks, because like it's, it actually feels really exciting every time you anticipate needing to ride. And I actually think it's really, really cool. Oh, actually, my tea. So I made myself some tea this morning. Now I'm making another one because tea is actually, I feel like, a very easy way to get your water in. This, um, this is 16 ounces, so my, my water intake should be around 55 fluid ounces a day based on my weight. So 16, it's kind of a lot, especially if I sip a water bottle in between. That will get me to 50 very quickly. Something I actually really like about the whole riding aspect is I feel like it's so easy to just have conversations with people when they know you ride. So I guess like in the past, say for example, I was at the park once in New Jersey and I saw someone ride there and just like hang out at the benches. So I went over to ask him about it, to talk to him. And I'm not the type of person to do that, but it had been... I think it had been almost a year at that point where I wasn't riding. So when I see other people riding, I was like missing it. I wanted to connect to riding indirectly by talking to them about it. So I, I thought it was really neat that, I guess, that activity encouraged me to talk to a stranger. Another thing also is just that like riding into work, a lot of people were talking to me about it today. Well, one person asked about it really briefly. And then this other guy I spent a good amount of time talking to. He was actually pretty cool. Older guy, like probably 40, 50 plus, but he was very animated, really easy to talk to. And he was just so, so worried about the safety of riding. But I kind of like that aspect where they're like, oh damn, you ride and then you just strike up a conversation. Especially because the other day, one of the other guys who rode a motorcycle was like, is that your foreign motorcycle out there in the parking lot? Cause it's new, we've never seen it before. So it's kind of like you get easily spotted. I just think the whole socializing from riding aspect to be pretty interesting. Morning, it is finally Friday and I am deciding to go into work earlier, I guess. So I've pretty much been up since 1.30 AM and um, 
I I would have slept a little more. It's just that I had my alarm go off and then I decided I wanted to sleep in more, but then I was still kind of hungry. So I just got up to watch the games. The first series went to three games. Um, and it was also between teams I was less interested in. Okay, I just finished working out. I got home at around five o'clock, so it is six o'clock right now. And I'm actually kind of surprised I had the energy to exercise because I haven't slept yet and <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I'm kind of wondering actually if I could sleep right now. I know that exercising probably makes you more alert perhaps but I need to be up at one. Tomorrow is a full morning of Dota watching, so I want to be ready for that. And I guess I need to sleep anyways, right? I haven't slept in a while, so I'm pretty tired. I'm just glad I got my workout in because yeah, with this Dota schedule, it's been kind of hard to exercise because I've been sleeping right after work, no time. But um, it's the weekend now. I'm I'm not really sure what I look forward to this weekend, but it's nice to have time to myself. I would like to figure out a place to go this weekend so I can dress up. <laughs> I really hope this doesn't become too difficult over time to dress up just to like go out. But yeah, I'll think of something. I'm really excited for tomorrow because I get to watch two of my favorite teams play. Virtus Pro plays first against Optic Gaming and then Newbie plays against VGJ Thunder. Both are, I guess, like Optic. Uh, they aren't technically a tier one team, but you know, you can't just not expect anything from them. So I think both of the matchups will be reasonably difficult. And I hope everyone has exciting plans for the weekend. And if you don't, I hope you're happy throughout the weekend because that's the only thing that's the most important. So I am going to feed Riley and then probably prepare for bed. So, good night. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know how earlier when I was like, I need to come up with some place to go so I can, I don't know, get dressed and look nice. Um, I got an email. This is nothing too exciting, by the way. I got an email that this movie Love, Simon is doing an early screening at local theaters around here. And the thing is, I've gotten emails before where there are early screenings, but the thing is, a lot of them are first come first serve, and I'm not going to be that type of person who tries to get there super early so I have a seat. Fuck that, I'm never going to be that person. So the good thing about this one is you have to buy tickets. So um, the unfortunate thing a little bit is that the theater that's near me, the awesome thing about it, oh shit! Oh, that's why, sorry, I just had a brain fart moment where I just realized that the reason the ticket price is different is because it's not the theater I'm thinking of. So there's a theater nearby me that is awesome because they offer tickets at $8.25 no matter what time of day it is. And if you go before the noon time, then it is $7, which is honestly fair pricing for tickets. Most of these other places like Lowe's or Regal's or AMC, they charge like fucking close to $15 in the evening for a ticket, which is insane. But, so I just realized that's why my ticket was $15.55 total with tax. Um, it was like $14.20 for an adult ticket, but it's tomorrow at 7 p.m. So I get to go out, <laughs> which is cool. And another potential exciting thing is that Shane told me that he got an alpha invite to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth, I think that's what the name is. So he got an email for it. Supposedly I'm supposed to be getting one too because he has connections, but I'm not, I haven't gotten an email yet. So I'm going to sleep for Dota now and we'll see if I get anything exciting in my inbox in the morning. So, this is my official good night, <laughs> not the earlier one. Hi, poppers. So, today, well, today kind of just started for most people, but I've been awake for like nine hours. And, um, I guess even though 
it was disappointing that Newbie lost their series, so they are eliminated from the tournament. Virtus Pro played two matches today. They played the first series, won that one, and then they had to play the semifinals right after. Well, they had to play the semifinals after Newbie played, so they had one series as a break, but they just beat Team Liquid in a very exciting game three. It went to a third game. And now they are on to the finals tomorrow playing against VGJ Thunder, which is a Chinese team. And oh my god, if they win two majors in a row, that would be so incredible. They The interesting thing about them in this tournament is that they... So since I've been following them, it's been nearly a year. It's been over a year actually, way over a year. and. There are times where they have a tendency to kind of throw, like they would be up ahead, then they would kind of get a little cocky. They're not very good at pushing high ground in Dota, if people know what that means. Um, if not, it just means that people on high ground have more advantage because they have the vantage point and they also have vision over you, so it's just difficult. And um, they sometimes when they push high ground, they just kind of like, get wiped or they kind of put themselves behind and then the momentum of the game like drastically shifts so sometimes they're known for that and they tend to do that once in a while but then when they're really playing well they like destroy you so it was so satisfying watching them destroy liquid in game three and they honestly i don't remember them throwing at all this tournament like none that were super obvious um i feel like they've been making very very good decisions man it's almost the end of march i want them to announce ti because i want to i want to freaking buy tickets i want to go see them in person i want to meet them even though you know signing autograph sessions with players i feel like it's so not as personal as you would like, right? But there's always that problem where they don't know who the fuck you are, they just view you as a fan, so it's kind of hard for them to, you know, care, I think, but I mean, that that's kind of hard, it can't be helped because they pretty much see a bunch of people all at once, so it's really hard for them to make the effort to connect to every independent fan, right, that shows up, that loves their play, and that has been watching them for a while, so uh well anyways maybe that i'm just thinking way too ahead of myself right because what if what if i don't get tickets if i don't get tickets i'll be sad because i have been mentally preparing myself for when valve announces the tickets going on sale sometimes when i watch dota it kind of feels like when i watch a movie and i get really emotional because when i see them like constantly making good plays and constantly winning and just just doing really well against really good teams. I just feel like my my eyes well up a little bit because I'm so like moved for them and their success and their team excitement and happiness and all of that. I, I really like that whole atmosphere of working together as a team, building that camaraderie. And so when I see them like winning team fights, like I just like, I choke up a little bit, but all right, I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, so I originally planned to go see Love, Simon today, right? So I could dress up and look nice, but it is raining outside. So I guess originally I was thinking, you know, I can still do it and I'm mostly indoors anyways, but the thing is I don't actually have an umbrella and I was thinking I could just like drape a scarf over my hair but uh, I don't feel like that works really well, especially if I have to walk from the parking lot for a while. So whatever, whatever, <laughs> I'm just gonna wear comfort stuff today. Maybe I will figure out a way to go out tomorrow if I wanted to really dress up, if I cared that much about it. Also, also I spent a lot of time yesterday and today compiling my recommended films list. So I have it on my blog right now. So I will put in a clicky thing right here. And um, 
If you ever want a recommendation, if you trust my judgment, go there. I have divided them by genre, but the thing is I haven't finished yet. There are just so many movies. I also don't want to forget anything. So if I forget like a foreign movie because I watched it a long time ago, that would nag the heck out of me. So I'm constantly going to be adding to it. So if you want something good, um, go there and check it out. I pretty much compiled the list based on just whether I enjoyed the movie and whether I feel like I had a pretty good memory of it because there would be a few movies that I had seen but I just don't remember a lot about so if I don't remember too much then I feel like that's a good assumption to make where I might not have enjoyed it as much because if I did I feel like I would remember it better so yeah I'm actually pretty happy to compile that list it's just that I'm using Squarespace for my blog and their editing section is so fucking slow. So slow. I cannot believe it's that slow. But I can understand I have like a million pictures on a page. But it's just three to four second delay when I'm clicking and dragging. I honestly think it's even more than that. But uh, I think I'm almost done. So once I'm done with that, I shouldn't be suffering too much unless I need to add more movies to it as I watch more. Hi, I just got back from the movie and sorry for the weird lighting. I'm assuming it's very terrible lighting because I'm at my computer and um, I kind of want to leave my clothes on because after this I'm going to just edit and then go to sleep. So I turned off the heater and I just need to kind of stay warm. And if I wanted to, you know, lounge on the couch, I have to change, so I kind of don't want to do that. So I'm standing up <laughs> and talking, but um, ugh, that sucked. This was one of the worst movie watching experiences I've ever had. And I, I don't know if I'm just like overly picky, not tolerant of other people, but there was this one girl who was laughing at everything and she was the cackling type, so she was constantly really fucking loud, and she, I felt like she was an imbecile because there were there were scenes where they were just saying lines, where nothing was happening really, and she was just laughing. So that kind of gave me the impression that maybe nowadays people expect to be entertained through humor every other line in a movie, so it kind of like it made me so depressed to think about these being the common viewers that hollywood is catering to by making movies where there are jokes so often that people expect to laugh every few seconds the thing is though i don't think the movie was really that funny like i, I maybe i maybe it's hard to make me laugh I know my views are different than other people, but the thing is, I just, I do feel like I would have enjoyed the movie better if I watched it by myself because I was kind of really in a bad mood after maybe like 15 to 20 minutes knowing what kind of viewers were sitting around me. Not because of like what they like, they can like what they would like, but mainly because of how loud people were being. And that's another thing that I guess I don't know what is the best way to think about it is that yeah if you're in public I do think it is reasonable to be polite um, at the same time though I don't know if it's reasonable to ask someone to shut the fuck up when they're watching a movie with other people like I understand that you know if you're watching something you want to enjoy it fully and if you're laughing you can be fucking loud but at the same time I don't think it would dampen your enjoyment too much if you like quieted yourself knowing that you being loud is ruining someone else's viewing experience but that was I guess one of my complaints another thing that I just am not a big fan of is when people are like cheering and clapping and stuff so there was a lot of that going on I know this is this movie might be that kind of movie that attracts people like that but I uh, I really wanted to leave. Like I was very tempted to leave the theater, 
30 minutes to an hour in, but I decided not to because I paid my money and I wanted to watch the movie. So the movie is Love, Simon. I'm sorry it took me so long to mention that. And the movie is basically about a guy who is in high school who is gay and um, kind of does a little pen pal relationship with somebody who posted that they were gay and they kind of like talked and got to know each other and throughout the movie you're kind of left wondering like who is this guy he's not willing to reveal his identity and then you see it through the eyes of the main character Simon who I guess like takes these cues from their emails and would try to like figure out who it is in his school but I think overall there were sweet moments in the movie that I did like I also do like Nick Robinson because he was in the movie The Kings of Summer, which is a movie I recommend. Love Coming of Age and that movie was really good. But I know him from that. I know he was in Jurassic World, but I don't think that's a good movie. So watch him in Kings of Summer. <laughs> but aside from that, I, I think there are just parts of the movie that try to cater to modern society that really saddens me. So one of them was that there was this website, like a gossip website that was for the school. And it reminded me of Gossip Girl where like people would be like, oh, have you seen this on this website? Like he would receive text messages from his best friend that was like, oh, have you seen Creek Secrets? And that's the website where people would post shit and then everyone in the school apparently would know about it so it's like a good way of spreading rumors spreading secrets and just like spreading information and that was an aspect of the movie i fucking hated because i hate social media yes i use instagram and twitter and stuff but i don't use it in the way that i think it is intended like i don't use it to try to I don't really, honestly, I don't think I use it to connect with people. I use it because I do it for me. I like to share, I guess. And to me, it feels like I can look back and kind of, I like looking back and seeing like what I wrote on my blog or what I uh, put up on my YouTube videos. And when I watch them later, I just find that enjoyable. So for stuff like Instagram, it's like a grid of pictures and you get to go back and see like what you posted a year ago, stuff like that. But I just don't like this whole aspect of having this website where somebody gets outed. I don't like that at all. So the thing is though, I do think that part of the story might have been important because without it, he wouldn't have met the guy who started emailing. So I understand it to be um, maybe essential to get the story going, but I just, I don't like stuff like that. I hate this fucking gossip. Um, spreading information culture that we have it kind of disgusts me because people think that they are um they think that they have a right to be in your business you know they just want to know everything they just want to spread information they want to be on top of like new information about you and it just it's so awful uh there were a few characters that were cringy um i don't like plots that involve blackmail so there was a boy in the school that saw his emails and was blackmailing him otherwise he would expose him i don't like plots like that plots like that remind me of korean dramas or they remind me of uh television shows that are on like fox or cbs or nbc like revenge um popular show but it's just to me, that show just feels like it's like a bunch of shitty people just trying to ruin each other and that's not the type of TV show I want to watch. I don't want to watch people be shitty for an hour every single week, but this this recording kind of turned into a rant and uh, I'm sorry for that. I'm just really, really frustrated after that movie viewing experience. Surprisingly, my mom called me a bunch while I went to the movies. Like they called me before I left, but I was getting ready and I don't want to be on the phone delaying me because that's kind of like, I just wanted to be on time and stuff. So I talked to her on my drive back. It's actually still raining and pouring outside. So that was very unpleasant. But yeah, it turns out that my uh, 
dad went back to Taiwan because uh, my grandmother isn't doing too well. So that was a su surprise to me because, you know, they were just here in San Diego a month ago and now he's already in Taiwan. So um, she hasn't been doing very well for a while. So I'm not very sure about the information. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned it very much, but I'm not close to my extended family. I did mention it in my About Me video, but not everyone watches that. So um, I don't know much about whatever is going on over there and they're not usually very good at explaining to me what is happening with them so I don't usually ask but yeah I just talked with my mom for a bit I guess there are times where like moments like this where my mom's just by herself in New Jersey it would be nice if she was local and then we could see each other throughout the week so she kind of has a little bit of calm. I just thought it was really strange how she called me so much. It made me worried that there was something going on. I saw, I, I mean, I felt my phone freaking vibrating constantly throughout the movie, and I was going to call her back, but it was in the middle of the movie, and I was like, I don't want to lose my seat in case someone just takes my seat when I leave. So, just decided to delay it. Yeah, it's 9.30. I am probably, yeah, I'm just gonna take the rest of my night to edit a vlog and then I will go to sleep because there are finals tomorrow morning and okay I've rambled enough I will put this together and decompress a little bit because I'm still a little irritated from earlier good night guys